up, football fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two latest book releases, Football, a Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? Visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copies today. I enjoy when these two teams get together because they play some really good games. Lenore Ryan opens up with four straight road games, and the good news is that they have what travels very well, a running game and a defense. The Bears' option attack is a nightmare to prepare for, and they return six starters on a defense that should be once again strong up front. Westchester loses some key pieces in the passing game with quarterback Sean McCartney and wide receiver Matt Doty, but sensational jitterbug Brandon Monk returns in the backfield, and Monk is one of the more dynamic runners in Division II. Despite some key losses at linebacker and at cornerback, the Golden Rams are a veteran group on that side of the ball and should be good once again. I like Lenore Ryan in this ball game. Their ability to shrink a ball game with their option attack, I believe, will put a lot of pressure on a young Westchester offense to maximize each possession. I do think at some point they can. I don't think in this game it'll happen. I like the Bears. Intriguing matchup here between Oklahoma Panhandle State and Angelo State, and I think the Aggies will be even better this season. They're led by running back Chris McClendon and one of the more athletic offensive lines in Division II. The Aggies' offense shouldn't miss a beat in 2015. Defensively, their back seven is impressive with cornerback Jamel Major, and they'll get put to the test early by an Angelo State passing attack with quarterback Kyle Washington, who's a legit pro prospect that threw for over 3,200 yards and rushed for over 900 last season. Defensively, Clayton Calicut is a versatile defensive lineman with the ability to drop back in coverage. Now, the question will be if they can eliminate the big play that plagued them all last season. I think they can. I like Angelo State in this one. And finally, the best game of week one is between Minnesota Duluth, who's ranked third in the nation, and top-ranked Minnesota State. The Bulldogs were one of the most dominant teams in Division II last year. Their offense averaged 40 points a game, and defensively they held opponents to 21 points a game and also smothered them in the red zone. Bulldog tailback Logan Lauder is one you should definitely keep an eye on in this one as he'll be facing a Mavericks defense that features two returning All-Americans in defensive end Josh Gordon and linebacker Tyler Henderson. The Mavericks had the best defense in Division II last season, only giving up 12 points a game. Now, offensively, they're well balanced. And when you look at these two teams that met in the third round of the Division II playoffs last year with Minnesota State winning 44-17, I don't think the gap will be that big in this one, but I do think the Mavericks defense will force Duluth to throw more than they would like to. I like Minnesota State. 